Good morning. I'm so glad you all are able to join us today. We're going to jump right in and start with our greeting. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Be still and know that God is here. Be still and know that Jesus is Lord. Be still and know God's word is true. When we hear those words, we know it's time to get ready to hear one of God's stories. And so I want you to get comfortable and get ready to hear the story that God has for us today. Now, before we start, I wonder if you notice anything different. And I want you to think about a color if you notice anything different. Um, last week, I want you to remember back to last week, um, which was the story of Ascension. And we, um, and we talked about that, and Jesus gave the disciples special instructions. And he said, do not leave Jerusalem until you receive the gift that God has promised. And so we're going to talk about that today. So today is Pentecost. Today is Pentecost, um, and that is the day when we remember that God sent his Holy Spirit. He sent the Holy Spirit to be with us and to guide us and to help us um, to help us tell other people about Jesus. Um, so this all happened after Jesus ascended, after Jesus went away. And the people of God were in Jerusalem. They were gathered there to celebrate the, the great Thanksgiving feast that they called Pentecost. And these people of God came from every country. His friends were also in Jerusalem and they were still waiting for the gift that God had promised the gift of the Holy Spirit suddenly there was a sound in the room like rushing wind and it filled the entire room and there were flames that seemed to look like fire. And they came and they rested on each of the disciples. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit. And they were so excited. They were so excited that they went out and they began to tell people about Jesus. They told about who Jesus was and they told of how God had raised people from the dead, or raised Jesus from the dead. And each of these people, each of these groups of people heard about Jesus in their own language. And they understood about Jesus in their own language. And they said, what can we do? And Peter said, Repent, change your ways, ask Jesus for forgiveness for your sins, and be baptized. Be baptized and you will be filled with the Holy Spirit. God's gift is for you and for your children. 
and for all people who God calls. I wonder, wow, I wonder what it was like to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. I wonder what that was like. I wonder how Jesus' friends felt when they had power and confidence to go and tell everyone about who Jesus is. I wonder how the people felt when they were baptized and received the gift of the Holy Spirit. I wonder how they knew it was the Holy Spirit. I wonder what the Holy Spirit wants us to do with the gifts that God has given us. Now would be a great time to press pause and to ask some wondering questions together as a family. Now is the time to respond to God's story. Um, and I wanted to show you just a little fun thing that um, I learned from Rana Yablonski. But this is, um, we have some colored tissue paper. Actually, I think it's cut up streamers. Um, so. I don't know what you have at home, but you might have something like this. And you can take your pencil and kind of twist the um, tissue paper around it. And then if you put some glue on your paper, then you can just kind of stick that there. And that would be kind of like a flame of fire if you wanted to do that. But there are all sorts of fun ways to respond to today's story. And so um, now would be a good time to press pause and, and respond together as a family. Okay, we light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we read his word. And I want to remind you all that this is the word of God. This is um, true. It was given to us. And the story that we um, heard this morning is right in here in Acts chapter 2. And it happened. And so this is the word of God. On the day of Pentecost, seven weeks after Jesus' resurrection, the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm in the skies above them, and it filled the house where they were meeting. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. And this is the word of the Lord. Um, now is a good time to press pause and spend some time praying together as a family. Before we close, I just wanted to bring this out. And you guys are familiar with this. Um, some of you are so good at doing this puzzle. Um, but I'm thinking back to um, the end of February, I think, is when we had when we began Lent, and Allie helped me kind of set this up, and we moved through Lent, and then we went to Easter, and so today we are celebrating Pentecost. Um, so I just wanted to pull this out to just remind you that that was where we, that's where we are in the church year. So I am going to change the light now. Now is the time to. Remember that just the light is in one place, but it can now be in many places, and that's to remind us that Christ is with us wherever we go this week. And so may the love of God, the grace of Jesus, and the comfort of the Holy Spirit go with you now. Amen.